Hey boys and girls, we're gonna talk about farming. I'm just kidding. We're actually gonna talk about SEO, which in the marketing world is a lot like farming. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's try that again. All right, come on, this time for real. Hey guys, welcome back to another training video. I'm Adrian Boisel, and first, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit the like button so that YouTube shows my content to more people like you, and make sure that you get notified with all of my videos, I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. So today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna talk about SEO, and I'm gonna go through a bunch of different videos and talk about SEO in depth, but today's video is very important. But first, story time. I wanna tell you a story of how I got into SEO in the first place, what got me started, and how did I learn it? I feel like this is a very important foundation for you, so that's what I wanted to share. First way I got into doing SEO was by doing graphic design. Back in 2007, when I opened up my shop, I went and got a little Google location, I went and set up a website, and I thought, well, I gotta figure out how to get traffic. And so I started looking online and doing research, and that's when I stumbled upon SEO. Didn't even know what the word meant. Search engine optimization. Search engine optimization allows you to organically rank, which makes means free. In other words, when you hear organic, it's a free marketing method where you list your website on the directories and then you also put great content on your website. And then as time accumulates and authority accumulates and more people talk about your website, your website starts to appear higher and higher on the search engines. And clearly, if somebody's looking for a specific search term and you're one of the first results, the chances of you being clicked on is higher. So what I did back in 2007 when I had my print shop is I went out and I found a guy that knew about SEO to teach me. But even above that, I actually taught him my graphic design stuff and he taught me his SEO stuff. And I put him right next to me in my office. So it was a really great partnership, really great opportunity for me to learn about SEO from him and for him to learn about graphics from me. And so we did some trade deals and we sat side by side and I learned everything about SEO that this guy could possibly give me. And then we started bringing out in other SEO experts to give us their perspective and their thoughts on what they were doing, learning some of the white hat SEO strategies, the gray hat SEO strategies, because that does exist, and black hat SEO strategies, knowing what to stay away from, what is kind of in a gray area, and then what is just purely white hat SEO, like writing content, doing some of those basic things like adding security to your site. So I actually ended up ranking my own website for California printing and got myself on the first page in the top three spots for the keyword California printing with a C, California printing, and that increased my traffic significantly. I was able to get clients on demand almost every single day of the week through my website, just from people searching California printing or local printer near me. And that was bringing me consistent traffic. And that's when I saw the real power and potential behind search engine optimization. So if you're not using SEO for your business, you're really missing out. You may be doing a paid advertising approach, which is what I consist of like farming or hunting, going out there and using your rifle, using your bow, however you're gonna hunt, fishing, things like that. That is more of the hunting approach Whereas SEO is more of a long term, you can go out hunting and in a day, go make a kill and go, go actually bring home that food. But with SEO, you're gonna have to plant that seed. You're gonna have to build the website. You're gonna have to write the content. You're gonna have to build links. You're gonna have to do citations. You're gonna have to list yourself on Google. You're gonna list yourself on all these different websites. There's a lot of different factors and pieces that go into that. But the biggest thing that goes into that is that it takes time. It does not happen overnight. There is no one on the planet that can say, I put up my website and in 24 hours I was on the first page. Unless they're maybe in some sort of weird, obscure niche like underwater basket weaving, or maybe they bought a domain name that already had a bunch of authority, which is also possible. But we're gonna talk about that in another video. So I wanted to share that with you and just understand where I came from as SEO was one of my earliest introductions to online marketing, and it's what moved the needle on my business. Now, I was running a little bit of paid advertising at the time, but it was very minimal. It was only because I had gone to Chicago and learned some of those strategies, but 99% of my business was coming from SEO and then from word of mouth. So SEO is a really important piece, just like farming. You gotta have the right tools, you gotta have the right experience, you gotta have the right plants and the right things to plant. You gotta know what you're planting. You gotta know how far to distance things apart. So there's a lot of things that are very unknown in the SEO world. And that's why a lot of people say that it doesn't work or that it's, it's a scam or that it's black magic, voodoo black magic, because people don't understand it. And the other kind of really key contributing fact to that 
is it similar to farming is there's a lot of outside conditions. Google does updates on a regular basis and changes the game. Google also doesn't reveal and tell you what the exact key indicators are that you need to rank on the first page. They give you some general outlines, but they don't give you a roadmap. Just like with, with farming or with even, you know, planting vegetables in your little garden, is there's a certain roadmap that you know that you need to follow. You need to give it sun, you need to water it. There's some basic things like that, like content is king, you need to work on your on-page SEO, you need to work on your off-page SEO. These are all really important areas that you gotta focus on, but there's no exact formula for SEO, just like there's no exact formula for farming. What happens all of a sudden a thunderstorm comes through and wipes out half of your crop? What do you do? You have to learn how to, to overcome those things just like you do in SEO. If an update happens, you may drop a couple positions or may go up a couple positions. If you're doing things right and you're always updating your, your page, your website, your content, keeping things fresh, putting new content on there, and you're doing the right things, some of the technical things like uploading images that actually have geotagged locations in there. That is a huge deal. So that's something we're gonna talk about in future videos. But today's video, I just wanted to focus on understanding what SEO is and why it's important. If you can appear on the first page of Google for one search term or a dozen search terms, it's gonna give you a way better, better advantage than everybody else. But the secret here is to not just be on there once, but be on there multiple times. So what I wanna teach you in these videos is one, how to get a paid ad up there later on the paid advertising videos we do. But more importantly, SEO on your Google Maps location, SEO on the organic listings, SEO for videos. Because if you were to have a page and somebody were to search a specific keyword or search term that's an intent driven keyword like nearest plumber or, or local roofing contractor near me, something like that, and you show up with a small ad with a minimal budget, then you show up in the first place for the maps, then you show up in the first place or second place or third place for the organic search, then you show up in some Google images or you show up with a video on the page. Now you're on that page four or five times. I even have keywords that I have two listings on the home page for certain keywords that I go after. So that's a really big deal to understand is the more times you can get ranked on that page is the more opportunities for somebody to see you. So it's really important that you do that. There's a lot of pain points and struggles like the algorithm changing, like black hat strategies and doing bl private blog networks. There's a lot of stuff that you need to be careful for. Things that have gotten me penalized over the years by just pushing the limits too far. I've learned that you just gotta, you can't go against Google and try to make Google work for you. You need to go out and work for Google. This is a very important mindset that I want you to shift and change is trying to manipulate Google to work for you is a dead end road. But if you go work for Google and follow the procedures and protocols and the advice that a lot of the experts that work at Google have put out there, Search Engine, Google, Search Engine Journal is a very good resource for that. You will have a lot more success, you'll build a lot more momentum, and then you just need to be able to take action on the stuff and be consistent. The key to SEO, just like farming, is if you missed a week or a month of watering your plants, they're gonna suffer. If you don't upload content consistently, if you don't refresh your content, if you don't take care of your SEO and you neglect it, you're gonna get wiped out by your competitor. So it's really important to know SEO is an ongoing thing, just like a website, that you have to keep up on it, you have to keep things fresh. So that's the video I got for you guys today. I hope this brought you some clarity of understanding what search engine optimization or SEO is and why it's important. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Adrian Boisel, and as always, Keep looking up.